Hey guys, welcome back to another Schwartz Version 1 video. And today, we're back in France. Or France, what, whatever. Today, we're at Nice Airport. It's pretty nice for sure. Now, actually, the reason we're here is because of this plane, which is gonna be controlled by NAI today. And I'm gonna show you how that works because it's kind of interesting to say the least. Right, so here we are in a 737 by Qantas. Qantas. Yeah, you might also wonder how a 737 by Qantas gets to this place, but who cares? Now, yes, this plane is going to be controlled by the internal AI of this flight simulator, X-Plane. Here you can see, there's the option, AI flies your aircraft. So basically, it can take off. It can for sure also land, as far as I know. You can also set it to AI controls your views, but that is not interesting. Now, again, the reason we're here is that this airport is payward scenery, and it has good ADC flows, which the AI... AI needs to work properly. So the AI uses the ADC flows because it basically describes how you fly and how stuff works at the airport. And it uses that information to fly the plane. Right now, I'm on the hands. I'm controlling this airplane. But as soon as I turn this option on, we'll go ahead and take off, which is slightly interesting. It's just interesting to see an AI fly this plane. So let's go ahead and turn it on. There you go. It's on. It's going full power. Flaps are on five, which is a bit low, but that's fine. Fine. We have basically no winds. Actually, we have tailwind. <clears throat> Let's ignore that. But this plane is taking off. Actually, it's rolling off from the center line, actually, but that's weird. Okay. Rotate speed is around 140. All right. The plane has taken off by its own, which is a weird feeling to say the least. It has already put the gear up on its own as well and the flaps partly as well. I'm not doing anything right now. I'm literally not in the controls of this aircraft and it's just casually taking off. The ascent rate is a bit slow. We have those mountains head. That could get close, but 2,400 feet is a very normal climbing rate. So this plane is doing fine. I actually gave this plane no instructions when it comes to FMC, so I literally had no flight plan filed. I just said go and it went, but we're going 320 knots. That's way too fast for under 10,000 feet. Uh, what the hell? But yeah, this well, let's now see how it handles certain things like a stall. Now, a stall is basically where a lot of pilots have errors now, let's also see if this plane can land itself. That would be pretty nice to have. What is it doing? It's just dying. Okay, here's some useful information about the AI and X-Plane. can operate on ramp, so it can taxi. What? It can also take off, and it can also uh, do a final approach, so it can land, which is nice. All right, let's just start a normal ILS approach and test that out. Now, we're going to have Autopilot do the first part of the approach, and AI do the second part of the approach. That is going to be interesting. Very interesting, to say the least. Now, again, this is, like, really not working great. There are a lot of bugs, and it doesn't work at every airport, but it does work at nice airport because it's a pretty good scenery, which has this ADC flow in it. And we do have some crosswind right now. Actually, we have tailwind, even. We might want to remove that. But, you know, let's make it hard for the autopilot. I mean, the AI. Let's go for stormy weather. All right, it's a bit stormy. We have some crosswind as well. So, yeah, this is pretty interesting. Now, let's see when we can engage the AI. Okay, I've just engaged it. It's probably gonna take off, right? Yeah, it's just really just taking off. No, that's not how it works. No, let's try engaging now. Maybe it works. No, nope, does not work at all. Right now, the autopilot is actually landing the plane. That is fine. Let's go for gear. Maybe gear is nice. You know, landing is kind of important, so it's kind of boring then. Oh, God. Wow, you fricked this one up. Oh, wow. Okay, now the autopilot has guided us into the ocean. So another thing that I've read is that the AI only supports a longer amount of runway. So let's go for a longer runway at Area 51. If you haven't been at that place for a while, let's go. Okay, X-Plane decided to crash on me three times during startup, and I hate my life. The only airport that I could spawn in at is Alert, which is literally in the ocean because basically there's just ice here and nothing else. So yeah, landing does work with the AI, but I've just read through a lot of forums and they all say sometimes you just overshoot the runway for no reason and it's just pretty buggy sometimes, which sounds like fun. So let's just see how this plane will handle the small runway. We might also try St. Bartholomew later on, which is a very nice airport. Let's let the airplane fly by AI. Now, this is also interesting and something that I've never known was the AI actually chooses its 
its destination. You can't really tell what it's supposed to do. There's a boat crossing the runway. Holy moly, this is against science. This is not water. This is a runway. All right, meanwhile, the plane is taking off without an issue, actually. All right, now again, this plane will choose its own destination. Oh, it's banging to the right. It's doing something. So what we might try is a bird strike. Oh, no birds. Now, a lot of people say, you know, we're not ready for AI because they can't really act in an emergency. So let's see how it will do. Okay, as you can see, we are, we have not lost engine power yet. Let's cut the engine power and see how it's going to handle. Okay, it's descending, hopefully on its own. <laughs> Probably, I don't know where it's going now. This is quite an adventure. This AI now has to save the passengers. Now we all know what a pilot would do in this situation. You know, I cut all the two engines. So right now you can't really do anything but land in the water or try to return back to the airport, which is probably not possible. So landing in the water is basically the only thing it can do. Let's also turn the APU on to get power back. Okay, this does not work, but we're still flying and it's descending gradually, but it's fine. It's like not too bad. Well, I can't really tell what our speed is right now because, well, both engines just shut off, so I'm literally lost, but let's just see how this thing handles it. We're coming down a bit too quickly. Flaps are still not out. Well, we're at flaps one, <laughs> flaps two. All right, so this thing knows that it's landing right now and that is very impressive. I mean, obviously, it's probably gonna fail, but right. Meanwhile, we're still going. We're actually having a very gradual descent rate. This is looking all right. We're coming down. Oh, gear's out. Okay, he put gear out for some reason, but we have survived. This was a successful landing. Wow. Okay, this is really impressive, actually. I did not expect that. Now, again, let's try taking off and have AI choose its destination. Let's also go for stormy weather now. I just want to see how this thing will handle it. Or maybe let's go for fog. That would be interesting as well. Let's go. It's going full power. Flaps five. All right. Okay. Now, the yoke is doing interesting stuff. Now, obviously, as a pilot, you're kind of used to having an autopilot on during the flight, but it's kind of weird to see that also taking off your plane, even though this is not autopilot. This is really just the AI. Okay, gears up. But what if there's a microburst? Now, the difference between a real pilot and an AI is basically the AI can always see. It's not using cameras. It's really just using the ADC flows that it has or is provided by the nav data. And yeah, this plane has just survived a microburst. Oh, wow. This thing is going crazy but let's just go ahead and skip the flight time and stuff let's just go ahead and see where this plane will fly maybe we shouldn't have started that far remote from any other airport but yeah this thing does have a destination and it really does know where it wants to fly banking to the right maybe it's returning back to the airport no it's not does it sign anything into the fmc no it doesn't all right okay now it is descending again but there is no airport in sight pretty interesting what the hell is it doing it's going crazy climbing at 7,000 feet. What the hell? All right, so we're now not at a very remote airport again. We're actually now at Marseille, which is also in southern France. And yes, we are in France very often. All right, it's rotate time. You should rotate now. Oh, there you go. Let's just go ahead and skip all the flight time. There we go. Now again, the AI really chooses any destination, really. So you can be unlucky and you fly to, I don't know, Australia. You never really know what to expect. Okay, we have have probably reached some kind of cruise altitude or maybe not all right now it has reached 47,000 feet what the hell you know you mind your own business okay so soon we're gonna be in italy that will be interesting i don't know will it land there let's find out is this even italy no this is actually this weird sicilian island or whatever it's called okay x has just frozen yeah, probably we should not trust AI. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.